I'm glad you two have made up. We were ordered to. Now that's exactly the sort of comment your grandmother will pounce on. I'm asking you to be on your best behavior. I am begging you. Can you both please do this for me? I promise, Ma. No. Mom, this is ridiculous. Why do we have to put on a show for Patti? This is not the time for this discussion, girls. Why not? Because she's here. My three favorite girls all gathered in this cozy little kitchen. Have you missed me, darlings? It's so good to see you, Amma. You must be hungry after your long flight. Mm, I could eat. How about I make parathas for lunch, Amma? You've been telling me how much Jala's improved her cooking recently. How about you show us what you've learned from your mother, Jala? But, Amma... Don't tell me you don't even trust her to make parathas, Rukmini. What do you say, Jala? Mom's been really patient with me. I'm sure I can manage paratas. Well, you have confidence at least. I hope you're not going to disappoint us. Of course she can make paratas, Ma. I'm so glad I came home for this. It's not uncomfortable at all. <laughs> Stop making silly jokes, Aruni. Party might misunderstand your strange sense of humor. Oh no, I understand it perfectly. Do not embarrass me, Jala. What are you mumbling over there? I was just asking if Jala washed her hands. A grown woman like her? You need to ask. Surely you know to always wash your hands before you cook, Jala. Of course I do. I'm an American, not a heathen. See, Rukmini, you have to stop babying your children. How will they develop any independence? Yes, Ma. Very good. Whisk the flour and salt together. You should sift first or it'll be lumpy. Yes, Patti. Such an obedient child. Your mother had such a smart mouth at your age. Jala? Obedient? Sure, yeah. That's my little sis. Never put a foot outside the bounds. I see who did inherit your smart mouth, Rukmini. Just sieve the flour, Jala. So, Aruni, you're following in your mother's footsteps and marrying a foreigner. His name is Ahmed. Did I say something wrong? It's just a fact. He's not Indian. Well, technically, neither am I. My dad's Sri Lankan and my passport's American. Not Indian. And you, Jala? You're also an American? Will you tell me if I'm whisking properly, Patti? Really? You need supervision to whisk some flour? Oh, go on. I warned you, Rukmini, if you take these girls to America, they'll be rootless. Thousands of years of history and culture reduced to Bollywood movies and pretty outfits. I don't even like Bollywood movies. They barely even speak Tamil. My God, the poetry you've stolen from them. I'm really more of a prose girl. Can't confirm. I'm not even entirely certain Jala can read. Hey! That's because you've never read Tiruvalluvar. Girls, please. We used to stay up so many nights, drinking endless cups of tea and quoting poetry to each other. Didn't you want to have that with your own daughters? Don't tell me you don't grieve the loss of it. I... Time to incorporate the oil into the flour, Jala. Huh. You haven't changed at all. Fine. Avoid the question. The technique's important here, so be careful. Hmm? Hmm. 
Looks good, Jala. Now roll out the door. Looks good. This shoddy job. Do it again, Jala. And pay attention this time. Sorry, Patti. I was distracted. <laughs> this house is in such a state of domestic disorder. It's a wonder anyone can get anything done. Do it again. Properly this time. Now we wait for the door to rest. No, no, no. You just stand there. I'll teach Jala the proper way to make paratas. There's nothing wrong with mom's teaching. Then why has it come out so badly? Don't make a sulky face. You have to learn to accept constructive criticism. Right, Rukmini? Yes, of course, Amma. See, your mother agrees with me. Throw that dough away. We're starting again. Go wash your hands again. Come back with a fresh mind. That'll take more than a hand wash. Thanks, Aruni. What a helpful remark. It's just sisters bickering. What are you fussing about? Very good. What's this I hear about you taking a sabbatical year before college, Jala? How you can take a sabbatical before you even begin, I don't know. Have you started applying for the new semester? I'm not really sure if it's for me, Patti. You really shouldn't delay your education. Wait, sorry. Did I hear that correctly? You're not sure if you're going to college? What is going on here, Rukmini? It's an ongoing discussion. You've been lying to me. Clearly, everything is not fine in your house. Your mother is an educator and you're not going to college? This is... this is just a slap in the face. Time to sift the flour. Your daughter is throwing away her future and you want to talk about flour. <laughs> this is really parenting, Minnie. Well, what can I say to that? Sift! Sift, Jala! even know what I had to sacrifice to get an education myself, to get my daughter educated. She could have done her post-graduation, done a PhD, used that brilliant mind of hers. Instead, she threw it all away to marry that man and become a teacher here in this backwater American town. Backwater? Please. This town is the size of a village back home. I made my decision a long time ago, Amma. And believe it or not, I'm happy. Do you have any other choice but to pretend to be happy? Add more salt, Jala. You're being too tentative. that your daughter would one day make you cry the same bitter tears you made me cry. It's not the same thing. Don't tell me you approve of this I'm not going to college nonsense. Of course I don't. It's my life at the end of the day. So my opinion doesn't matter? I'm your grandmother. My blood runs in your veins. You don't even think you owe me an explanation. Go get some yogurt, Jala. It makes the dough softer. I don't do that anymore, Amma. Fine, just mix it as it is. Who cares how it turns out? You've obviously given up on teaching your children anything. Aruni, Jala. Do not say a word. Jala, mix the ingredients. It's nearly lunchtime and there's still a lot left to do. Forget about 
about lunch. Forget the parathas. None of this is about the goddamn parathas. Patti, you just want to find fault with everything Mom does, and you're taking it out on Jala. Is this how you've taught your children to speak to their elders? Aruni, be quiet. Aruni's right. Patti, you're not being fair. Oh, so now I'm to be judged by a child. No, Ma. I told you to be quiet. Both of you. We're standing up for you, Ma. What have you been telling these girls that they think I'm so terrifying? You need protection from me, is that it? I don't know what's gotten into them. They're not usually like this. You're the one who's completely different whenever Patti's around. Oh. Oh. I understand now. You're all just one big happy family. I'm the outsider. Is that it? How could you be an outsider here, Amma? Aruni's just stressed about the wedding. Don't take it to heart. This isn't Aruni's fault. Don't get in the way of Mom throwing me under the bus, Jala. Hmm. Clearly, I'm the villain ruining this cozy domestic scene. Amma, no, please don't. You want to make me the villain? Fine, I'll be your villain. I was born to play that role. Look around, Jala. I exploded this domestic dream because I want to wake you up. Don't you dare sleepwalk into this life. Your sister. She's a lovely girl, but mediocre. Just like your father. No ambition. But you, Jala, I see myself in you. Just like I saw myself in your mother. I failed her. I'm not going to watch her make the same mistakes with you. I'm not another chance to fix whatever you think went wrong with my mom. I'm my own person. Perhaps you should consider that with age comes wisdom. I can see how this little story plays out for you. I've seen it so many times before. Don't misunderstand, Petty. I'm not doing this to be cruel. I just want you to fulfill your potential. You have fire, Jala. People like us, we need to be pushed. We need to be tempered. We were born to burn. Oh, Sergio! Men can make mistakes. But every choice we make, there's a price to pay. You have to bargain with the world for what you want. So what do you want, Jana? Really? A 
what are you willing to give up? Try Jala, but you won't put me on my back foot. Think I sent you those suitors because I wanted you to choose one of them? Those dimwits and fools. Not one of them is worthy of my granddaughter. Then what was the point? They've been ambushing me all over town. I just wanted to show you I cared. That I was thinking of you. Test you a little. I'm glad you rejected them. I'm proud of you. You're selfish, just like me, Jala. Selfish isn't the worst thing for a woman to be in a world where we're raised to lose ourselves. These roles of wife and mother consume you if you're not careful. Just look at Rukmini. Don't you want more? What's wrong, Jala Banana? 
You look worried. She's too strong. I can't find a single weakness. It's all right to need a little help from the people who love you, you know. You're not alone. And it's not just yourself that you're standing up for, right? Don't underestimate how powerful that can make you. The women in your family, they're all terrifying. It's so hot. Jala, I'm cheering for you, but honestly, I hope I grow up to be your grandma. Look, I hate to say this, but I'm proud of you. I caused house-exploding drama just before your wedding. I thought you'd be pissed. Some drama's necessary, like draining the pus from a wound. So, get back up there, and don't you dare back down. Got it? Remember, hydrate and lift with your legs. Come on, Auntie. You've known her longer than I have. You must have an actual suggestion. Run? Try to look small and pathetic? Really? Though I usually thrive on confrontation and healthy communication, my tactic with your grandma's been avoidance. That's not exactly gonna work here. She loves you, Jala. Just remember why you're fighting her. It's not to win. You're not alone, Jala. I promise. I'm right here with you. My grandmother is the sweetest, kindest woman you could ever imagine. She makes the best gajar halwa. But that's probably a story for another time. Family's complicated, huh? Our family, our heritage, their roots, tethers. Don't let them be burdens, all right? You know, my mother's not wrong. I never thought I'd leave India before I met your father. Do you think you should have stayed? Is coming to America what you really wanted? It's hard to see anything else but the life I have now. I stopped imagining other lives a long time ago. Isn't it better to focus on what is? Maybe. That's why sometimes what my mother says is hard to hear. Don't do this, Jala. Don't fight her. You won't win. All you needed to say was one word of encouragement. But you don't believe in me at all. You're like me, Jala. People make less sense to me the more I love them. Sometimes I think you're just like me. And other times, I don't know you at all. You'll only get hurt if you go back up there, Jala. Just give it up. I'm not going to be afraid of getting hurt anymore, Amma. Some fights are worth it, even if you know you can't win. Well, this is certainly a nightmare of intergenerational trauma, from which we devoutly wish to wake. Tyler? What are you doing here? What do you think? I'm here to help you, dummy. We were having a fight over paratas, but not really paratas. And then the house exploded, and now this! Yeah, it's a lot. But now you have me. No fear, okay? Uh, maybe a few fears. I finally get a chance to do one of these narrator intros. As other grandparents succumb to the ravages of age, Patti does yoga every morning, has all her own teeth, and can hear someone whispering gossip from across a crowded room. I've always suspected Patti absorbs life force from the people around her, like a vampire, but for other people's failures. 
So what, you're recommending a stake through the heart? Yeah, metaphorically. Hmm. Are you mumbling to yourself, Jala? Didn't your mother teach you any manners? When an elder speaks, you should listen! Mind, your passion, your effort, you spend them all here for them, but you'll never be one of them. I guess mom didn't do such a bad job raising me after all. Ah. I really thought your mother would come to rescue you by now. Why are you acting surprised? You terrify her. Is being happy all you want? You could be so much more. Everyone in the family says I take after you, Patti. If you keep running from pain, you will lose yourself. My mom isn't the one who doesn't understand me. You are. Love isn't handing out gold stars and giving hugs. It's gold heart truth. It's bitter medicine. Oh, Sergio! Brilliant women are happy ones. Oh, Jala, don't be so naive. Oh. Do you think I want you to get married because I'm sentimental about it? No. My husband was a self-important, narrow-minded alcoholic. I'm supposed to be sad and lonely now he's dead, but I'm not. I'm relieved. Did you ever love him? You want love? Get a dog. Can there truly be love without equality? My husband thought he was the undisputed master of the house. My master. It's hard to imagine Patti in that situation. But that was the reality for a lot of our grandmas, and great-grandmas, and great-great-grandmas, from every culture. So you see, Jala, I'm being pragmatic. They don't call it the marriage market for nothing. It's a transaction. Pick a man to take you places, or work ten times harder to get yourself there instead. What you can't do, my girl, is what you have been doing, and that's neither. <laughs> It's 
all been too easy for you. That's why you're so lost. Your love isn't motivation. It's sabotage. <gasps> Have you ever thought the reason you've never truly felt at home here is because you're not? That maybe you're struggling to find yourself because you're looking in the wrong place? Well, what are you saying, Bhatti? I'm saying that part of yourself you feel is missing, you won't find it here. Come back home to India with me, Jala. Restore what was stolen from you. This isn't a spur-of-the-moment thing. You've been planning this. It's the real reason I'm here, Jala. Oh, your sister's wedding, blah, blah. But your mother, your sister, they're beyond my help. But you, you still have a chance. I came all this way for you, Jala. Because I care about you. But what do I even do in India? You'll never know until you try, hmm? I understand you, Jala. I accept you. You belong with me. All I want to do is guide you. Why do you twist everything I do? Sometimes speaking across the generation gap is like speaking across different universes. Bet you wish you were in a different universe right now, huh? Seriously. It's time someone taught you a hard lesson, Jala. Let's settle this like grown women with the most powerful weapons of all. Uh-oh. Our words. how hard I had to fight for my education to get my daughter educated and now your family wants you to go to college but you throw away the chance I get it the world was unfair to you but that doesn't mean it's right for you to live out your ambitions through me you disrespectful ungrateful selfish little girl you know nothing a teacher's daughter speaking like this I knew Rukmini failed in her profession, but looks like she failed as a mother, too. Don't say that about her! Oh. You think you're an American? That you'll ever really be one of them? You'll always be a second-class citizen here. Just say you miss me, Bhatti. This isn't about me being American. This is about you feeling left behind. Ah! You live in this place which feasts on stolen riches and think you're different from these colonizers. Ha! You're even worse because you've turned your back on your own. I am not seduced by the materialist comforts of the Imperial core. I'm not. I can accept it if you don't want to get married, Jala, truly. But children? Children are a roll of the dice, thrown into our collective future, a way to keep playing long after you're gone. Don't you believe in the future, Jala? You're the one who said being a wife and mother isn't everything. Don't you believe in yourself, Patti? What will the world come to if intelligent women like us don't have children? Uh, eugenics much? Don't you think your mother knows the reason you don't want children is because she failed you as a parent? I'm not refusing to have children to hurt mom. But you know you're hurting her. You're breaking her heart. You think you're protecting your mother from me? You're wrong, Jala. I'm hard on her because I love her. You don't even know her. Love, 
You only understand the power. You withhold your love because you say it'll make us complacent. But really? It's because you're afraid we'll reject you. You don't have the courage to love us. That's why you play games. I'm sorry for whatever made you this way, but I am done with your power games. You have no idea the sacrifices I made for the... For all of you! You want the truth, Patti? Uh, Jala, maybe you should calm down. No, it's time someone actually stood up to her. You know what, Patti? I hate you. You... What? I hate the way you talk to Mom. How you look down on Dad. How you dismiss Aruni. You're cruel. You passed that cruelty to Amma. And it's in me, too. I always know exactly how to cut someone down. Make them smaller. I'm so good at hurting people. It's like there's this monster inside me trying to claw its way out. And you put it there. You made love something I was terrified of. I hate how much power you have over me. Over mom. Over us. Stop it. Did you feel that? I hate that I love you, Bati. I hate that I can't stop. You came here and you turned our family into a battlefield. But this isn't a battlefield. It's my home. Not yours. You. You. How dare you. Jala Jayaratne. It's time to call your mother. My girls aren't a chance to rewrite the past. They're new beginnings, Amma. We need to let them write their own stories. Yes, I understand. I'll leave after the wedding. You won't have to see me again. Amma, no, that's not what we want. Ah, it's all right. I don't have long left to live. No need to come home for my death rites. You're all busy and you're holding too much resentment in your hearts. I understand. You're part of our family, Patti. We love you. And it's never too late to change. Change? I'm an old woman, Betty. I'm set in my ways. Come on, Ma. You'll outlive all of us. Well, the doctor did say I have the spinal health of a 30-year-old. Ah, oh, I don't know. I have to think about it. I have to think about many things.
You're not wrong, Amma. My life would be so much easier if I'd married a man you picked out for me. Walked along the path you cleared. It would have been easier. But so much less fun. So, Arvind. You've been retired from the pharmacy for what? Three, four years now? No regrets? None. I have so much more time for birding. I even built a little hide in the backyard. He's a bird watcher, Amma. No, Minnie, I don't just watch them. I listen too. That's why we prefer the term birding, as I've told you before. Like I said, he's a bird watcher. Do the birds need to be watched? Best to keep an eye on them, just in case. Well, you can never be too vigilant, I always say. I want to make it clear that I do not bird, despite Irvin's best efforts. The things I could tell you about the yellow rumped wobbler, not to mention the cedar waxwing. Irvind, not all of us share your obsessions. Am I still jet lagged? She'll fall asleep at this rate. Oh, sorry, sorry, I get carried away. It's a passion of mine, you know. No, it's... it's okay. Tell me about it, I want to know. You... really? Yes, really. Now, come on. What in God's name is a yellow-rumped warbler? Your grandmother is actually having a civil conversation with your father. The age of miracles is upon us. Do you really think it'll last? Let's hope it lasts until your wedding, at least. Hmm? You know, I'm starting to think that Ahmed is a figment of your imagination. Thanks, Jala. He actually is the man of my dreams. He's picking up his parents at the airport. You'll get to meet him later. Please don't be weird. I hate to ruin a lovely occasion with sincerity, but I'm proud of you two. Ah, oh, thanks, Auntie C. I mean, the state of your triceps and lats are a constant source of shame to me, but I guess you can't have everything. Sorry, this booth is full in case you didn't notice. Aisha, we talked about this. New skate park, new open door policy. Fine. Jala, you can sit behind us if you promise not to breathe down our necks. It's not my breath you should be worried about. Didn't you notice your old boss spinning menacingly in the alley out back? Are you asking if I'm scared? Because the answer is not ever. Soundy was less purged and more managed. I'm not worried though. We're in this for the long haul. Our foe was banished to the darkness, but is now biding their time in the shadows. Like Sauron. Wait, is Donato a hobbit? Is that why he's so short? A skateboarding hobbit would rule. Hey, hey, stop that. I can see you have it all figured out. Try not to miss me too much, okay? We'll be waiting with bated breath. I'm gonna cry. For real. I'm glad you came back to town, Jala. I have to admit, I didn't think it turned out this way. I never thought we'd actually be friends. Are you a little disappointed I didn't break your heart? It would have been messy, but sometimes the mess is half the fun. See? This is why I'm glad we kept things platonic. My life could use a little bit less excitement. Yeah, mine too, to be honest. I'm glad we're friends too, just for the record. I'll always be your friend, Jala. Whenever you need me. Remember that, okay? I'm really not that stuck-up, confused, yearning little girl I was back in middle school. I've been through the fire, Jala, and I've come out stronger. Honestly, I'm kind of amazing. I just don't want you to regret passing all of this up. Oh, I see. You're just looking out for me. Exactly. You don't want to end up on your deathbed thinking, if only I'd let Thea have her way with me. Damn, usually people beg for the chance to be with me. But as always, you're the exception. Oh, Jala. Just think about it, okay? If you just give me a chance, I'd blow your mind.
Look, I know I said I wanted to move on, but this time we've spent together? It's made me realize that you're not just a grade school fantasy for me. You're the one, Jala. What I feel for you? It's real. How about you show me just how real those feelings are later tonight? We could go on a long drive, peel each other out of these clothes, see where the night takes us. I should tell you, Jala. I don't do one night stands. Are you saying no? No. Yes, I mean, as much as I want to. It's only a yes if you're willing to be serious with me. I can imagine our future together, Jala. I believe in it. Can you see it too? What are you looking at me like that for? Please, don't tell me of some kind of dramatic announcement. Nothing like that. You look beautiful, that's all. <laughs> don't start. What? A friend can't give another friend a genuine compliment? Being friends is only going to work if both of us respect the boundaries we agreed on. Can't you just be happy we salvaged this much? Do you have any idea where we go from here? That's one thing I promised myself. You are no longer part of my future plans. I was so fixated on you and me that I almost didn't notice. I actually like the life I've built for myself. I like my job. I like my friends. I like being single. There's so much more space in my life when you're not in it. I'm willing to let you back in, but it'll be different than it was before. Tyler. I don't mean that in a bad way. Let's just... See how it goes, okay? Hope things haven't been too boring without me. Miss you, Jellybean. XO, XO, XO. Jala, you're headed out? Ugh, the level of thirst in this room right now. <laughs> Reminds me of chaperoning your prom. I just wanted to... Yeah, damn it. Can I give you some advice? Yeah, yeah, why bother asking when you're gonna do it anyway? Fine, point taken. I know everyone in this room wants something from you. And you love to feel wanted, but... Don't let their ideas of what your future should be close yours down. I envy you a little, you know? Yes, there's uncertainty and doubt in not knowing exactly what you want. But there's so much possibility, too. The world is wide open to you, Jala. Enjoy it. That's the whole point. <laughs> 